Also, I used to think that iron that's in cereal was iron. It is. Is it? Yes, Joey. Metal? Yes, Joey. Can't eat metal. Yes, Joey. Yes. I hope this gets picked up by one of those like Instagram like scientists that are yeah. just like, let's break this down a minute. And then <laughs> let's break it down a minute. A lot of foods have like iron metal in it. It's called reduced iron on the ingredient label. That reduced iron is elemental iron. They take a chunk of it that's been made food safe and then they'll shave it off and put it into food that needs to be iron fortified. But why do they do this? Well, because our bodies need iron, but not iron metal. They need it in a different chemical form that your body can actually absorb. Let's talk about it. When you eat foods that are rich in iron, they're not rich in iron metal, like not the leafy greens and like the raw meats and stuff. They're rich in molecules that have iron bound to them in one of two forms, either the plus two form, which is called heme iron often, or the plus three form, which is just called non-heme iron because it's not heme. The heme is the part of hemoglobin, the famous protein for moving the oxygen around your body. That heme unit uses iron in the two plus state, so it often gets called heme iron because when you eat it in foods, that's where a lot of it is coming from. Turns out, it's also how it exists in your body. Your body uses iron in that plus two form as heme iron for hemoglobin and other things. And then it stores it in the plus three form, kind of like little balls of rust inside your body. And then it turns it back into the plus two form when it needs it for something. So you might be saying to yourself, well, wait, you, you said elemental irons in the food that they put in there. So why do they do that if we need the other ones? It helps to maybe understand what these numbers mean first. So real quick refresher, atoms, have that nucleus in the middle with the protons and the neutrons, and then they got the electrons buzzing around in the orbitals. When an atom has the same number of electrons as it does protons, that atom is considered neutral, has no charge. And that little number that will be on top of it is a zero. In the case of an atom that has more protons than electrons, that atom is now positively charged. It's a cation. And the number that you see there tells you how many electrons that atom is missing. And the negatively charged atoms work in the opposite way, where the number is telling you how many extra electrons there are beyond the number of protons, and it's a negatively charged anion. Okay, cool, word. So, okay, elemental iron is zero. We need two plus. Can you, can you make two plus from the zero? Yes! Yes, you can. So iron metal will react with a lot of things, actually. Iron metal's reasonably reactive. It'll react with air and make rust, and it'll react with hydrochloric acid, the same acid that digests your food in your stomach, to make iron 2 chloride. The reaction between iron metal and hydrochloric acid is a reduction oxidation reaction, which is one of those reactions where electrons kind of get shuffled around and then you suddenly have new products from the reactants that you started with. And I don't know if there's actually a formal known mechanism for this reaction, like how what atom does what, but I do have an idea of how I imagine it happens. So some of that iron metal from breakfast is hanging out in your stomach and then two hydrochloric acid molecules kind of just float by and it's like, hi there, how you doing today? Can I interest you in some electrons? The hydrochloric acid, it's got like the chloride and it's got a proton. And the protons are like, mm, nah, this feels sus. But the chlorides are like, tell me more, Mr. Metal Atom. Yo, I got a one day special, first come, first serve. Two electrons, first atom that wants them. Chlorides are like, ooh, wait, that sounds that sounds cool. I kind of like that. And the protons are like, yo, we got to go, son. Like, digestion's happening. And the chlorides are like, yo, we like electrons. And y'all don't have electrons like that, protons. Like, we've just been doing this for a while, but, like, electrons are nice. At this point, iron comes in. It's like, yo, I got electrons. And flashes is 26 electrons. The chlorides lose it. They just absolutely lose it. They, like, shove the protons out of the way. They go for the electrons. Each one of them grabs one. And now you've got some iron chloride in your stomach. Iron two chloride, because each of those chloride atoms took one of those electrons, and now it's the useful kind of iron that your body needs. Because iron metal can react with hydrochloric acid and, be, and form iron two plus, we can eat small quantities of food safe prepared iron metal, and it will supplement iron in our diets. And it turns out that we've known since like 1100 BCE that it also apparently does have some therapeutic effects. But in short, iron is iron, at least that reduced iron in the food. It doesn't affect the taste and it's not expensive. So that's really why it's there. But I hope this helped to clarify why the iron is iron in your food. And if you enjoyed this, appreciate if you hit that like button. But until next time, Skim Thug.